Hello guys, good evening. Welcome back to another episode of Safe in this podcast, a podcast that can be your sat night soulmate. The next episode will be accompanied by me, Balkis, as your announcer for this week. Before I jump into the topic that we will discuss tonight, I wanna ask, how's life guys? Is it good, so-so, or bad? I hope you guys are living a good life with tons of happiness filled there ya. Have you ever felt you're too lazy or have no energy at all for doing some tasks or activities? I think some of us have felt that at least once in our life. Did you know that kind of laziness is being called lack of motivation or low motivation? Everyone experiences a lack of motivation at some point in their life. Whether you're having a hard time finding a sense of motivation to do your work or tasks you've been thinking of, we all get into slums. But what are exactly the causes of it? Quoted from Better Up, some things that can make your motivation low are burned out because you're taking on too much work that can make you exhausted by your hustle life and also adopting yourself which means you don't feel like your completed tasks are done right. Mental health issues can be one of the reasons too because low motivation can be a common symptom of depression, anxiety, and other mental health issues. Another cause is you're too focused on the bad things that happened and make you upset for a long time so it can ruin your motivation for taking on another task. The last causes that are quoted from this blog are lack of commitment and not being specific enough to your goals so they won't encourage your motivation levels. It's really okay if your previous motivator's words aren't motivating you anymore. This stage means you're experiencing some personal development and of course that go- that's good. The important thing here is you need to understand that no matter why and how deep you're experiencing lack of motivation, there will always be strategies and people to help you find some en- encouragement again. A very important tip when you're experiencing this kind of problem is to let your soul rest. Put down that laptop and papers, the ones that made your brows furrow and start to give yourself a reward for working very hard. Now that you know that what can cause a lack of motivation, you need to learn techniques to start finding your motivation again. How to get back on track? Some tips below may not be for you, but try and find at least one that you can start practicing. First, you can try basic things like listening to podcasts that share positive and encouraging stories, surround yourself with people in your life who are also working on goals and share progress and challenges, give yourself incentive or rewards for accomplishing tasks, for every task you do that you don't like, do something that make you happy. So break your to-do list into manageable sections, make your task into a hab- habit in your daily routine, get outside for a walk to center your focus, be kind and compassionate to yourself, and the less are you the opposite when you think negative thoughts. Plenty of things can affect your motivation, the weather, people around you, how hard your task, and more impact on your motivation levels. Pinpointing what impacts you the most is challenging, but it can help you get back on track. Next time you lack motivation, pay attention to your surroundings. Also, if you find someone around you is feeling unmotivated, show up for them in the ways that suit them. Everyone's needs are different. Without any realizations, we finally reach the end of the show. I think that's all I can say to you for tonight. I hope it can help you guys who are now struggling with yourself to find some encouragement. Stay tuned for another episode of Safe in this podcast with numerous interesting topics and amazing announcers. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Spotify. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification to always stay updated. Safe in this podcast, a podcast that can be your subtext soulmate. See you on another occasion, folks.